Previously on Batman Beyond, The White Knight, Derek Powers, the CEO of Wayne Industry, hijacked the Wayne facility for himself after Bruce Wayne went to prison for his war crimes as the Batman. Now Derek is using young Terry McGuinness to steal advanced technology and sell them to the black market. So after learning this, Bruce escapes the prison and he has the AI of the Joker that is implanted into his mind and Joker is helping him to find Harley's daughter by hacking the computers and sneaking into the GTO headquarters. But as they arrive in there, they get captured by the GTO military and Derek Powers. And as Terry arrives in front of Bruce, he tells him the whole truth about Terry's father, Warren McGuinness, who was working under Terry. But after Warren learned the darkest secret of Derek Powers, he had him killed in cold blood. And for evidence, Bruce gives Terry a flash drive, which has all the information of his father's death. But right at that time, Derek and his soldiers assault on Batman and Terry. And as the fight continues, Terry uses his modified bat ranks on the soldiers, which breaks a nearby vat full of green glues, and it transforms Terry into a radioactive monster. But in the fight, Batman having a panic attack, and as he unable to move his body, the AI Joker takes control over his body and escapes the GTO headquarters, and they arrive into Harley's place where the Joker Batman confesses love for his wife, Harley Quinn. Welcome to Comics to YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Chapter 6 of Batman Beyond The White Knight. I have pinned down all the previous parts on the comment section down below. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by a suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up in Harley's house where Bruce and Harley are sleeping with each other. But suddenly, Bruce has taken control over his body after seemingly spent the night with Harley Quinn. As Bruce gets shocked to see Harley on his lap, Harley confirms that she knew it was Jack who is controlling Bruce's body and she was with him the last night. But Bruce gets pissed by Joker's action for using his body to confess his undying love for Harley. And Harley gets emotional as she tells Bruce that she and Joker said all the things they never got to say, including their final goodbyes. Joker is not even real anymore, but she and Bruce are real. But Bruce goes into complete defensive and makes their connection to trauma rather than love that Joker has inflicted in their life. As the two continue fighting, Harley insists that Bruce is in denial of their relationship and also the existence of Batman. But Harley knows from deep inside of his heart, Bruce is Batman and it brought him a family and loved ones including her. And Bruce cares to lose his family, so Harley tells him to fix things and accept the truth that includes her. Meanwhile, the GTO officer, Dick Grayson, and his partner enter into Jason's office to arrest him for making contact with Bruce Wayne. But there, Gunn, Jason's new Robin, arrives, and as the officer sees the grappling hook, she tries to arrest her. But before she can do that, Jason jumps on Dick to take him down. As the fight continues, Dick tells Jason no one was trying to replace him, but angrily, Jason replies that Batman and Robin were meant for strength and hope about never giving up, but all Dick has brought to this city is fear and abuse, so Dick must pay for turning this city into a cage. But then, Dick delivers a powerful punch and puts Jason on the ground, and before he can arrest them, Commissioner Barbara Gordon shows up and makes the GTO to deliver Jason and Khan to the police department. Meanwhile, as Bruce thinking about his past, the AI Joker appears to comfort him. But Bruce gets mad on him for using his body and manipulating Harley. 
and she wants Joker to stay out of his way. But Joker tells him he knows Bruce has a feeling for Harley. He was just trying to help him. And as Bruce asks Joker, he crosses to shut him down. Harley arrives into the Batmobile. Seeing her, Bruce tells that he need to tell everything about Derek Powers today. And also, he was wrong about keeping his distance from his family and loved ones. And now, he's going to settle this matter. So he arrives in front of Dave when he is picking his boy from the school. And there, Bruce tells him all the details on Derek Powers about how he is developing weapons to sell them to foreign militaries and using the Batman Beyond suit to steal takes from all over the Gotham and also the details of Terry and his father Warren McGuinness. But at first, Dick is not believing his words as Bruce manipulated him and the other Robins in the past and he shouts at him and tells that he was never good to raise children if he had real kids of his own then he had understand that what he has done to his bad family members. But Bruce then tells Dick he was different than Jason and when Dick became Robin, it brought them even closer and as he get older, he start to enjoy his life at parties, girls and college while in Bruce's teenage life, he was doing studying, traveling and training. Then Dick meet with Barbara and they fall in love. But he was more committed to Batman. But it wasn't about fighting crime. It was an excuse to be together. So Bruce pushed him away because he wanted to save Dave and close his relationship with Barbara without the Batman. But Dick did not see it that way and it ended up doing even more harm. But Bruce has always loved him as his own son. And now he realized that besides taking down Derek Powers, he needs to fix his family. Meanwhile, at Chitio headquarters, Derek temporarily decreases the radiation from his body and finds that Joker's daughter, Jackie, has found the data on Warren McGinnis and his son and the classified API file. But before he can lock her up, Dick shows up and tells Derek that he knows the truth about Warren McGinnis and he came here to arrest him. But before he can do that, Derek orders his military soldiers to arrest Dave. As a result, the fight continues inside the headquarters. But the increasing military makes Dave to escape the building. But before he can do that, he gets shot in the back and breaks through the window and starts to fall towards the ground. But his life gets saved as Bruce arrives in the scene and gives him the grappling hook by using his own grapple gun. And both of them arrive at the Wayne Powers facility to save Joker's daughter. And the old partners, Batman and Robin, make their own way towards the facility by destroying the military base. But right at that time, Derek Powers with his newly found abilities arrives in front of them and before the heroes can defend themselves, Derek throws his radioactive blast towards Batman. But before it can hit him, Dick jumps in front of him and the blast hits Dick instead of his father, Batman. And as Dick's lifeless body falls into the Batman's arms, the chapter 6 of Batman Beyond the White Knight comes to a close. So which part you like the most? Is Dick Grayson really dead? And what do you guys think about the relationship between Batman and Harley Quinn? Please share your thoughts on the comment section down below. And also please subscribe as this will motivate me to make more content. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.